Hello everyone, Kevl here once again. And it's it's still raining here in Kevlvania. All of the snails are gonna come out soon to destroy my poor garden. What better way to save my tomatoes than to destroy virtual snails? Onward to Crystal Snail, who guards the Energen Crystal Mine with his Crystal Hunter and his ability to slow time down. Kind of a lame power if you consider that Robot Masters, built by Wily hundreds of years ago, could stop time. Then again, I think Wily might be in another league, so it doesn't quite count. This stage is extremely shiny. I'm sure dragons would love this place. And this is the Rabbit Ride Armor, also known as the Ride Armor Type EG2 Custom. If you want to bring it along, you can use that big crystal to break the pathway and let him through, but I don't really want to do that, so let's move onwards. He's only necessary for some of the extras in this stage. Reflexor. They shoot a little beam that will always fly in the exact same pattern, making them extremely easy to avoid. Unlike this next reflecting beam enemy, Magna Quartz, Mini Boss. That little heart attack producer is called the Saver Moon R, and he will eventually spawn more of them if you don't kill him quickly enough. Hopefully, I think I okay, I got it this time. Oof. Yeah, he can spawn up to three of them as far as I know, and they give me heart attacks. The beams are very hard to avoid, it can get pretty hectic. Baton bones, we've all seen before. Oh dear. That was terrible on my part. Ah, attack of the bats! They keep coming back. Okay, let's do this right this time. There we go. Very badly positioned bats, if I may say so. You want to lead this crystal? Make sure you don't get crushed by it. Go halfway up the ladder, not all the way up. There's even more bats inside of that room. Casually take out the bats here, and we're pretty much done with the stage. Just a few more reflexors. Ignore that one. Take out that one. Lead the crystal, and dash through. Onward to Crystal Snail himself. Unfortunately, he does not have an extremely easy-to-exploit AI pattern. He does have a fairly easy-to-exploit AI pattern. Observe, once he stops, like, spinning. Pretty slow guy. Can't even walk. He jumps around, though. Technically. His first order of business will usually be to launch these crystal hunters at you. They will freeze you, like so. You can mash buttons to get out of it. I'm going to say I did that on purpose. Usually what you want to do is dash underneath his Crystal Hunters. He will do it up to four times, if you do it correctly, and then dash his shell at you two, one or two times. Crystal Hunters. Dashing under them makes them quite easy to avoid. And he's now doing his Desperation Attack. No, he's actually not. When he starts spinning very quickly, it's his Desperation Attack. I'd like to show that, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Come on, you. Show me your desperation attack. I know I can kill him quickly enough if I just use those crystal hunters. Okay, now he's doing it. No, he's not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? You're gonna need punishment. Punishment. Uh-oh, I've been punished. Now he's doing it. When he starts spinning around very quickly, he'll be desperation attacking. It'll slow down time, making him a lot harder to avoid. But not too much harder. One thing you can do, which I'd also like to show, is as he's preparing his desperation attack, shoot him once. And you can essentially lock him into this pattern if you're good enough. Extremely easy to fight, I gotta admit. The second half of him is easier than the first half. Killing him gives us the Crystal Hunter, which will basically do what he did, except you only fire one of them off at a time. It locks enemies into a little hexagonal crystal, and that you can use them as platforms. Charge it up, and you'll get the uh, slow down time move that he had. You got Crystal Hunter. Yeah, it just goes in a little arc pattern and freezes enemies. What's this? Different music, shadowy figures. I see now why Sigma fell at the hands of Mega Man X. He's quite formidable. 
I am not sure our Mavericks can hold him long enough. We may have to interfere, intervene. Hey look, more different music. That guy over there is Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane, what happened? A group of Mavericks calling themselves the X-Hunters have just contacted us. Greetings, we have all of Zero's parts. They can be yours if you can defeat us. We look forward to meeting you, X. X, Zero's control chip is still stored here. I doubt it is possible to resurrect him without it. Dr. Kane, I've got to get Zero's parts back. At any cost. And now, in the stage select screen, things have changed. Now, if you go to a certain stage, you have the option of fighting one of the various X-Hunters. But I will not be doing that in the actual runs, because that will screw up the run itself. You see, I can't do a difficulty analysis if I also include the X-Hunters in there. They'll all be in a special extras where I fight all three of them. Either way, there are a few outtakes, and there are a few extras. So, enjoy those! Life is not a play, it's what we make of the people we love. Still see the benefits, the beauty in every inch of what, 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 are you quick to kiss? Hello everyone, Kevil here for the extras, the source of more outtakes than necessary. Back when that ride armor was given to us, just before that there was a very fast sliding area. Note the ride armor does not slide, he's too fat. In between the sliding sections, there is a pit. Drop down there into here. Equip wire sponges weapon. Very necessary, you'll see why shortly. Dash, jump, hover, a jump again, and you have to grab it. The wire sponges weapon will help you grab onto walls, so it's very necessary. And you'll get a heart container. And a free ride back, because there's no way in heck X could make that huge jump on his own. I am going to cut to the next extras now, because it's actually quite far away in the stage. So, stay tuned for a And we're back, just after having fought Magna Quartz, and just past this Giant Quartz, ignoring the Baton Bones. Oh dear. Alright, taking out the Reflexors, and look, a capsule! Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. It uses some energy, but with it, you will be able to see objects that you could not see before. Good luck, Mega Man. Yes, we're getting the helmet part first. And I gotta admit, X's armor from X2 looks pretty cool. Look at that shiny helmet, it's all gold now. The helmet part is now actually another weapon energy that you use. It's on the weapon screen, just aside from the other ones. And using it will act will show you certain hidden areas if they exist. For example, the helmet part there. And there's a couple others in other sta stages. Sometimes for special power-ups, and sometimes just for things like one-ups or health. Oh well, on to the outtakes! Blade punches. Spike punches, I don't know. We won't be seeing much of this... <laughs> Magna Quartz. He's got little robots that are actually just one, called Saber Moon R. I tell ya, this is a intense fight! He only had one hit left, too. Saber Moon R that he launches out. Saber Moon R is the real boss. Magna Quartz. Most of the pain from this guy comes from his little minion, Saver Moon Arg. I'm a pirate. That little floating beam shooter is called the Saver Moon Type R. And he is annoying as hell. And his evil little sword. Nah. And I seem to be doing terribly on these bats. Come on, bat. Come on. 
There we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, dear. I, this is definitely not my good game. I am playing terribly. Okay. Let's hope that doesn't keep up. I'm gonna be careful of these bats. Very careful of these... Okay, good. Darn it. And now for another edition of Kevil's Playing Terribly. Careful of the... Yeah, I, I had a feeling that would happen. Let's just let myself die. And go just a little bit above the ladder. Well, if you mess up, that's that. This is why you don't want to go all the way up the ladder. Like I accidentally did. These baton bones will respawn like crazy. Okay, what, what? Oh, darn! Darn, 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 darn. This guy wasn't super hard, but he wasn't super easy either. At least, his stage wasn't. Yeah, 3 out of 10. And only really for the Magna Quartz. That thing is a little heart attack producer, I tell ya. It bounces around the room and all those crazy lasers flying everywhere makes it kinda hard to avoid at times, but it's got fairly low HP, so it's not too hard. Just hard. Other than that, this stage is mostly smooth sailing. Did you notice that there's only two types of enemies there? The Baton Bones and Reflexors. I did notice the difference between Bat Bone Type G and regular Bat Bones from the first game. Bat Bone Type G seems to drop a lot less health. It drops weapon energy instead. Eh, but I digress. A good easy stage, but an enjoyable one. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you tune in next time. This is Kevil, signing off. Ciao!